Hello, in this episode I will go through some qualifications of calendaring, which are some limitations of such a project, what we see here, and some people who might not benefit from such a task as much. So it's not for everyone, obviously, and we've got to go some limitations and people who is not the best for them, basically. So this is not for people who will not have the time or will to do such a task. I would still recommend trying, but it's probably not the best fit for you. If you're not going to invest the time or you don't have the will to do it, don't don't for, force yourself into it. It's probably not the best. I would still recommend trying because I think any idea or any some data will give you a better sense. And if, even if you're going to fail, it's still good. But it's good to know going into it. This is not the best fit for people whose life are unpredictable and consisted of small windows of time. This is not for people whose life are super messy and they aren't and they have no control over their schedule. So it's kind of the same thing, but if you, your life is all over the place, very busy, uh, and you have a lot of kids, a very busy life, and it's consistent of very small increments of time. That might not be the best for you if you don't have the time to go back reflect or looking forward you need to have some time i think in the lower in the longer term it would save you some time because you you would be able to be more efficient with it but to some people it's not for them if you have very hard time focusing in being on the spot and being deliberate about things it's not the best fit this life could be somewhat robotic. You will need to follow what is on the schedule. So if this is a problem, it's not the best fit for you. Again. This is a guideline though. I do like to add here. But this is a guideline and not something you must follow like a robot. It's a dynamic calendar that tracks your day. So even if it felt, it feels robotic, first of all, we want to be that way. And after a little while, you understand that you have that wiggle room and you can change you have total control over it it's a dynamic calendar it tracks your data it tracks your day and everything so it is something you want to take into account but it would feel a little bit robotic in some days especially those busy days that you have to follow the schedule it would feel a little bit robotic so if this is a main issue here again that's not not might might not be the best fit if your life has more than three to four distinctly different repetitions or schedules that's going to be a little bit harder for you because as, as i talked in previous episodes there is this repetitions idea which is as you can see here during the week there is one repetition which is the same thing as for example breakfast and work and lunch are in the similar times and then we have weekends that uh, so the rule the basic rule of thumb is if you have more than three to four of distinctly different schedules and or routines, that's going to be very hard because rescheduling would be harder. It's going to be very complex. Even three, I think it's already uh, starting to get, become a little complex. I think I use two repetitions because, again, you would have to change your schedule every once in a while. You would have to, re in order to reflect uh, recent changes. So. If you have more than three to four, that's going to create a huge mess and it's going to be much harder. More power to you if you're into it, but that's going to be harder. This will take time. I'm not going to lie to you. This project is going to take some time. It might get annoying at times, but it's it worth it. This is not a quick fix. It's a continuous process. It, it, takes, it takes time. Again, being, being honest here, I am investing some time into it, and it definitely takes some time. But overall, I think it's worth it. It's a process, it's a continuous work, but again, worth it. Countering can take some time, especially in the first few weeks until getting used to it. But again, it would definitely be worth it in the long run. First weeks are the hardest when you, you know, try, tweak, understand it, and every new system has a learning curve. It takes some time to get habituated to a new system, 
but with time you get used to it you know the system you know how it works you know how to deal with it and it's going to take less and less time every once in a while you would do rescheduling and you change things and it would take a little more time but overall it would give you more time you would be more efficient you would be more on time you know what's going on and you won't miss things so overall i think it's a great it's a great tool so that's it for this episode uh next episode will probably be for pros or q and a's uh, i'm not sure but there will probably be at least two episodes on q and a's so i'll see you then thank you